हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ मिस श्री एस के कुलकर्णी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट डब्ल्यू आई टी शोलापुर आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस विथ यू ऑन रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ गुड क्वालिटी कॉन्क्रीट लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ टूडे सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ गुड क्वालिटी कॉन्क्रीट फ्रेंड्स you know a concrete is nothing but a composite material which is obtained from uh, mixing of cement sand coarse aggregate water and if required add a mixture in definite proportions so these are the ingredients of concrete cement sand coarse aggregate water etc now let us see what are the requirements of uh, a good concrete okay uh, so first requirement is use of good quality materials this is very important cement which we are using that must be of good quality fresh one right uh, we know cement should be used within 3 months from the date of manufacture so dates also must be checked then good uh, quality of sand coarse aggregate and water also is equally important they must be weighed carefully measured carefully portable water should be used free from uh, harmful organic substances etc now one more important thing is particle size distribution so sand sand and coarse aggregate these must be well graded good shaped then clean right uh, without any impurities like soil etc dust particles then the grading should be uh, of good uh, quality the particle size distribution is nothing but distribution from largest permissible coarse to the smallest permissible fine of that particular aggregate right so equal distribution should be there and generally 20 mm aggregates are used for rcc works okay aggregate should be hard durable and properly graded this is important thing proper mix design is equally important mix design of concrete must be done properly referring relevant is codes and it should have all the ingredients in right proportions this is very important workability of concrete workability workability of concrete is nothing but ease with which concrete can be mixed and placed okay so concrete must be workable enough so that uh, the uh, placement will be easy and also uh, workability depends on amount of water in concrete amount of water should not be too much otherwise strength will be affected so water amount is very important in concrete and workability and strength depends on uh, amount of water or quantity of water which we are adding in what uh, this concrete too much fluidity will result in certain defects like voids will be there so that should be avoided proper mixing handling and compaction is important so concrete should be mixed thoroughly so that it will be a homogeneous mix also handling of concrete should be proper otherwise there will be segregation of particles separation of particles from concrete mass Uh, should be avoided okay then concrete should be compacted properly okay then only it will be dense and compact right so that is important proper and sufficient curing one more important thing curing uh, avoids loss of moisture uh, at early stages of setting of concrete remember this is very important uh, then only concrete will gain strength so concrete for uh, the curing for minimum uh, period whatever is specified generally it is from 21 to 28 days for different uh, concrete components so that must be done uh, to its fullest extent and to uh, the complete period that will ensure strength of concrete water cement ratio is very important aspect it controls strength durability and water tightness remember 
uh, water cement ratio should not be too much and should not be too low uh, generally a range uh, of water cement ratio should be uh, between 0.4 to 0.55 depending upon the mix design okay so water cement ratio affects uh, quality of concrete a lot so it should be optimum now good quality reinforcement we see we know concrete is weak in tension so concrete members uh, must be reinforced with good quality steel okay so that they can take uh, tensile forces effectively okay concrete will be equally strong in tension as it is strong in compression okay uh, reinforcement may not be required uh, for those members which are subjected to only compression like pedestals are there sufficient compressive strength will also uh, uh, is also equally important concrete is graded or designated on basis of its compressive strength we know m20 m30 grades right so m stands for mix and this 20 stands for characteristic strength of concrete in newton per mm square now for concrete uh, of m20 grade what should be the strength after 28 days of curing it should be 20 newton per mm square minimum strength right so and so on durability durability of concrete is uh, the extent to which the material is capable of resisting the deterioration caused by exposure to service conditions okay and this particular durability of concrete depends upon strength of concrete if strength is good durability will also be good and water tightness and uh, weather resistance concrete will have good dura durability remember and concrete which is subjected to wear and tear like uh, floor slabs are there those must also be capable of resisting abrasion these particular concretes right and stronger the concrete it will be more durable remember water tightness concrete must be water tight remember there should not be too many pores in concrete when uh, will these uh, pores more in concrete if amount of water added is more than the required then there will be pores in concrete and this concrete will not be stronger one so water tightness is equally important affected by water cement ratio now friends let us pause a little here here are two questions for you number one durability of concrete will be good if it's uh, uh, blank space is there you have to fill this space it's good okay then second prevention of loss of moisture from concrete during early stages of hardening is dash of concrete so you have to fill both these places by correct words you know now we have studied just now these things come on write your answers Okay, good. Written the answers. What are the answers? Durability of concrete will be good if its strength is good. Remember. And number two, prevention of loss of moisture from concrete during early stages of hardening is curing of concrete. Right? These are the correct answers. Now, few requirements, few more requirements. Concrete should be fire resistant. This is also one more requirement. Good quality concrete should be fire resistant. It should have minimum shrinkage. One more important thing. If shrinkage is more, there will be more cracks in concrete. Okay, that should be avoided. And last but not the least, concrete should be economical. This is very important, right? So these are the requirements of good quality concrete. Uh, these are the references for today's session. Thank you.